mudras are a spiritual gesture which gets registered in our right brain and whatever the purpose of that mudra is through the nerves the information reaches to the brain and the work starts happening today what we are discussing is about gyan mudra this mudra is very common and all of us must have seen it somewhere because when we join our index finger with thumb this mudra is formed it is like this see here the element is space and air and therefore you travel into the space into the air and when you close your eyes perform the lotus pose because every mudra should be done in lotus and first you see how the lotus posture is done and then you see how breathings are done and how breathings and lotus are associated with gyan mudra see or uh, take the toe of your right leg and put it on the thigh of the left leg like this and then you take to of your left leg and put it on the right thigh like this and now you are sitting in lotus your back bone should be straight and then breathe very slowly or you can perform the pranayama inhaling in 16 minutes holding the breath for 64 minutes and taking your breath out in 32 minutes first you have to do taking out of the breath that is called recha we need to empty ourselves to fill with the new energy so we empty our stomach or lungs and our all other part of the body by breathing out totally and then we do pura that is inhaling and we fill our lungs our stomach our all part of the body is from head to toes with the fresh air hold that air for 64 minutes and then slowly breathe out upon vayu in about 32 minutes in all these activities your eyes should be closed you should be sitting in lotus and putting the gyan mudra like this and keeping it on the knees of your both legs let us do it
this mudra is very suitable when we are doing meditation meditation is usually done in either gyan mudra or in dhyan mudra gyan mudra is this what i am showing you the next maybe tomorrow i tell you how dhyan mudra is being performed